Many people are under the impression that to plan their estate, all they need to do is prepare a will. The truth is, a will is only one part of a complete estate plan. In general, a complete estate plan covers three areas. First, who will receive your assets when you die? Second, who will be in charge of wrapping up your affairs when you die? And third, who will take care of your personal business and make medical decisions for you if you're alive but incapacitated? To cover all three areas, at a minimum, your estate plan should include four documents. First, you should have a will which provides who will receive your assets, who will manage your affairs, and who will care for minor children when you die. Second, you should have a power of attorney which says who will be in charge of your affairs if you become incapacitated, such as through Alzheimer's or an accident. Third, you should have a designation of health care surrogate which provides who will make your medical decisions for you if you're unable to make them for yourself. And fourth, you should have a living will which instructs your doctors to not keep you alive by artificial means such as a respirator if doing so will only prolong your death. In addition to those four basic documents, you might need to prepare a trust agreement to handle special situations or avoid probate. A complete estate plan should also include a list of where your important papers and assets can be found, as well as what your wishes are for your final arrangements. By having a complete estate plan, you save your family the time, stress, and money of having to sort these matters out for you.